Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews, and I'm here in the Exercise Science Lab at Montclair State University. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use bioelectrical impedance analysis using the Tanita scales to do a body fat percentage measurement. So when using BIA in order to calculate body fat percentage, you want to make sure that the individual is well hydrated, but not overhydrated. They don't eat a, a large meal uh, shortly before. They don't do any large, uh, heavy exercise where they're going to be doing a lot of sweating or where blood's going to be pulling towards the surface of their body or they're going to get dehydrated. You want to make sure that anything that's going to um, cause a shift in body fluids or body electrolytes isn't occurring in the hours right before you do a BIA measurement. Uh, the reason for that is BIA is going to send a weak electrical signal, so, so weak that you're not going to be able to feel it, um, through the body, and it's going to go from one part of the body to another. What I'm going to be showing you today is a foot to foot, so it's going to go from one foot through the body, through the lower body, and down the other foot, and be sensed in that other foot. Um, and so the easier that electricity goes from one foot to the other, um, in other words, the less impedance or less resistance to electrical flow there is, the less body fat that person has. The more resistance or more impedance that person um, gives to that electrical si signal, the more body fat they have. And the general rationale be behind that is that uh, lean tissues like muscle mass tend to have a lot of fluids, a lot of water in them, and that's going to allow elect electricity to flow very easily where body fat isn't going to have a lot of water in it, and so the, it's going to act as sort of an insulator or it's, uh, it's going to pr prevent the easy flow of electricity. So with that assumption, we can then go and calculate body fat percentage using this technique. So this is what the foot plate looks like of the Tanita system. So you can see that there is clearly a left and right foot spot, and you just want to make sure that the foot lines up with those two spots. Before and after each use, you want to also make sure that you're using some sort of alcohol swab to clean the system. So this is the alcohol swab that we use. It is just the uh, sort of more medical brand, um, nothing special to it. Um, but all you do is take the swab and you come down and you clean the foot pad, the whole thing, wiping it down, making sure that you can visibly see um, that there's moisture coming off the alcohol swab and onto the foot pads themselves. So that's how you're going to make sure that you're cleaning properly and not infecting people between uses. So here's the control unit for the um, SNEDA bioelectrical impedance analysis system. So first the thing we want to do is hit the on button just to get it turning on. Then we're going to see there's always going to be a flashing arrow that's going to tell you what it's currently um, asking for as far as information. So right now it's asking for clothing weight. So if it is, um, if the person is wearing athletic clothing, I usually type in one pound. If the person is wearing more street type clothing, I usually type in two pounds. If they're wearing anything heavy or have heavy objects in their pockets, I just have them remove those heavy objects. So I'm going to go ahead and put in two pounds for this individual, so 2.0. And you can see that now the arrows that are blinking are in this section here where it's male or female and athletic and the other option standard but it doesn't, uh, that's not up here. So essentially what it wants us to do is to hit one of these four buttons right here. So these are the two for female, these are the two for male, the standard are the top two, the athletic are the bottom two. So athletic essentially for this machine means that the individual does at least 10 hours of exercise per week and oftentimes you'll hear people say that their resting heart rate is under 60 beats per minute and it's done, uh, or it's under 60 beats per minute because of the athletics that they participate in. So for this individual and for most people you're going to go ahead and hit standard. So this is a male, so I'm going to hit standard male. And now you can see the flashing um, arrow next to age. This person's 30, so I'm going to type in 30, 30. Now it's asking for how tall the person is, and they want it in feet and inches. So if somebody is 5 foot 10, you need to actually type 5, then 10. And it also wants a decimal, so it's going to be 5, 10.0. All right, so this person is 6 foot, so it's going to be 6 foot 0 inches, point zero. All right, so now we can see um, the step on arrow is flashing. So we're going to have the individual go ahead and step on. And you can see the weights starting to come up. 
and those circles there are going to go away whenever the um, machine is finished doing what it's doing. And so you can see the m machine prints out a receipt. This receipt has all the information on it that you need. So when you're all done, you can simply hit the off button and make sure that you go ahead and clean the system again using an alcohol swab. So here's an example of what the printouts look like. So you can see the body type listed there across the top. You can see the gender or the sex of the individual, their age, their, their weights and heights, their BMI, so their body mass index, their fat percentage, which is the real reason why we do this machine or use this technique so we can see how, um, how much body fat somebody has. And then you also see the BMR there, which is the basal metabolic rate. So this is the estimate of what that person needs to consume in either calories or kilojoules in order to maintain their body weight at their current weights. Um, so below that is the impedance. So this machine works through sending an electrical signal through the body and seeing how much impedance or resistance to that flow of electricity that the body gives. The more resistance the person has or the more impedance, the more body fat they have. Um, the less resistance or impedance, the less body fat they have. So then we have fat mass um, in pounds, fat free mass in pounds, total body water weight um, also in pounds, and then below that it gives the machine gives you a desirable range for that individual both in fat percent, so 8 to 20 percent for this individual, as well as how many pounds of fat that that would be.